Welcome back. Glock 17. It's clear, 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 still clear, clear. So I recently posted a video asking the question, why does everyone hate the Glock use sites so much? Besides for the typical echo chamber reasons they've all heard on XYZ review when everyone just repeats, me no like, cause plastic. Nine out of 10 times you look through any Glock review video, people will complain about the sites and you will hear the same thing. Plastic, plastic, plastic. When in reality, you're not actually physically touching these as you're using the weapon. These function just fine. So I asked a question to see if anyone could answer without the typical me no like cause plastic or because they're gonna break easily. How are you gonna break these? I had one interesting comment. The guy said something along the lines of, they are plastic, they are cheap. The rare sites, you can move them with your finger. Like, how are you just moving this with your finger? Talga1 commented, people don't like them because they're plastic. Might break if you drop them. The back, you can move with your finger. This was the one I'm talking about. This was typical anti-Glock rhetoric. That's pretty much all that was. The back, you can move with your finger. What are you talking about? How would I move this with my finger unless it's been loosened. Has this specifically happened to you with your Glock? Because I've never seen that happen. Mines don't move my finger. So I pretty much gave up on getting a decent answer out of that video until one person chimed in with a quite decent response against the Glock sights. So once again, I'm gonna tease you with the ashy hands. Brown chicken, brown cow. Ooh, look at that shit. Zoom in, get, get a little closer, get a little closer. This guy deserves a little bit of recognition for his awesome work, his awesome response. The user's name is Tan Lee. Uh, you gotta excuse me, from this angle I can barely see. He said, good point. I thought that too when I first started. Like you, I just got into shooting, but for home defense and competition shooting purposes. I stated that because to me, it's important for two things, low light situations and longer target shooting. After using many pistols and training, I realized if my irons, whoops, it's fading away. I realized if my irons aren't illuminated, illuminated at night, I would have a hard time acquiring my target inside a dark room. One could argue that if you have a flashlight at night, even a 400 lumen base flashlight is very bright considering the factory sights on Glocks makes it hard to distinguish in dim light, in dim lit conditions. Uh, he's right. And B, oh, that was an A, B response, A. B, tritium sights allow that opportunity for you to see through your sights without impairment. That was part one of his response. And part two, I find it distracting having the way the rear factory sights on the Glocks because if you look at the U shape, there's a white indicator outline, but, but then you have half a millimeter thick of plastic black left, which throws me off when I'm shooting competitively. Okay, A and B again. A, yes, I know USPA and IPA standards don't require you to shoot 25 plus yards, but for me, I like long distance shooting, 50 plus yards. And so having either completely blacked out rear sights or having thinner rear plus completely filled white paint on rear helps with sight alignment. Uh -huh. Unless I'm misunderstanding him. I think what he's saying is, so where the white outline is right, meow, right around the edges of the white, there's a tiny bit of black, if you can see it still. So the white is not completely at the edge. I think that's what he's trying to say, which I can understand that. Hm. Correct me if I misunderstood you, sir. Where was I? Paint on the rear helps with sight alignment. All right. And B, the rear sights are generally bigger than most competitive entry pistols to high end. I feel most people compare Glock pistols to their configurations, to their likes of Canik, Beretta, CZ, and even SIG guns that spoils them with thin front sights plus illuminated, both or single, front, rear. Hope this helps. Good response. And that was Tan Lee. I'm probably mispronouncing that. All right, let me glove it up. No glove, no love. This is crooked. Oh my gosh, I'm filming crooked. So there were two main little points I liked that he pointed out, which I already mentioned. 
how the white of the U is not completely flush at, with the border of the black. I'm not clearly explaining this. What he mentioned with the edge, the black overlapping the white on the very edge of the sights. I get that, especially for what he's doing. He's doing this, the USPAC stuff, competition shooting. I could see that would suck them. And another thing he said, most of most folks are comparing it to the sights on their other pistols, their SIGs, their CZs, their Canics, the Berettas, stuff like that, which I also understand. I do have a couple other pistols, different sights, three dots, some glow in dark, some don't. It still doesn't make me hate the Glock sights like most people do. You know, I, I don't know why I like these. At the end of the day, I'm probably biased since the Glock was my first pistol. That's probably what it is. Nonetheless, I appreciate your response, sir. That was very well said. If any of you have anything to add to the Glock sight debate, chime in below. Share with us, let us all know. Might be an interesting read. You know what, before I dip, I'll scan for more comments. Question for you guys. Turn that down. God. You know what's the worst thing about making content? Listening to your own voice as you edit. It, it's, trust me, it's the worst. All right, Magus, Magus replied, they're plastic. Again, the plastic thing. They're plastic, they're less intuitive for some people. You're better off not worrying about it. Spend your money on range, time, and ammo. After you spend time with different sites, you'll find out what you like. Eh, true. I've never had any issue with the OEM sites on my 34, but when I build them, I like the XS Dot. The iType sites, the DX series. I'm probably misreading that. I also really like the Steyr sites with the weird Chevron setup. I've seen those Chevron sites those are actually pretty sweet next iris caprio md this is a new commenter he recently started commenting maybe a couple of days ago if i'm not mistaken he's a doctor or in the medical profession in the philippines of all places pretty interesting they're okay i use them as backup to the rds i don't mind that they're plastic because i don't drop my guns Exactly, exactly what he said. He's not dropping his gun, so why are people complaining about them being plastic? After 4,000 rounds, they're still intact. There we go, it's not a big deal. My main argument, my rebuttal against the tons and tons of hate that these plastic sites get for being plastic is that, okay, you don't like these because they're plastic, when 99% of every pistol out there right now all these modern pistols the frame is plastic and the triggers are plastic on the majority of these guns the part of the gun that you're actually interacting with the most the part of the gun that you are manipulating the most as soon as you grab it you're grabbing a plastic pistol grip that's attached to a plastic frame and you're manipulating a plastic trigger am i right or am i right them being plastic this is just for the plastic argument them being plastic does not affect how the gun functions so arguing that they're plastic is kind of a moot point when frames plastic triggers plastic components that you're manipulating are plastic does that make sense once again chime in below let me know your thoughts questions comments concerns complaints peace and chicken grease